let's learn how to make a gradient stack text effect using Kittle right now. So this effect is super easy to make. All you have to do is go over here to add headline in the text panel, or you can hit T to add text. I'm going to go over here into the fonts, and I'm going to use this one called climate right here it's a really bold font you could use a thin font if you want but it might be hard to see the gradient effect so i'm gonna go with a big bold font for this i'm gonna go ahead and type in color i'm gonna make this all caps just like this make it a little bit bigger and then to create the effect all you need to do is go ahead and copy this text so i'm gonna hit command or control c and then what i'm gonna do is hit enter to go down to the next line so i'm gonna put my cursor at the end hit enter and then i'm just gonna copy and paste so i'm just going to hit command v or control v to paste this in so now i have one text block of the word color all the way down so then i'm going to lower the line spacing right here uh, to an area that feels pretty good otherwise if it's too long the, the effect's not really going to work they need to be close together just like this now i'm going to center this you could add more or less if you want to this feels like a pretty good amount to me so to make the gradient let's go up here to text color and then right here, there's an arrow where I can click gradient color. So if I click that, boom, look at how the effect is applied. I'm going to go ahead and keep this kind of pinkish, uh, pinkish red color. I'm going to click on the black swatch right here and I'm going to change it to a blue. So somewhere around right here feels pretty good. And you can see it immediately it takes effect. Now you could add more colors by clicking along the line there and adding more swatches. I'm going to go ahead and change the background. And then what's really cool about that is, like I said, if we copy and continue to paste the word color or whatever word you're using, if we continue to add more, like here, I'll add a couple more right here. Look at how it just applies to the rest of it. It, it didn't like mess up the gradient. It just kept applying. So we could add or take away from this whole effect within one text box. Now, let me go ahead and delete this. I'm going to go back to where I was and show you a couple of cool tricks with the gradient. So if I bring this back up, you can see the angle of the gradient. If I want it to be reversed, I can delete the negative. So now that I have 90, if I hit enter, look, it swaps the colors to be the opposite direction. Now, maybe you want it to go from left to right. Well, I can type in something like 180 and hit enter. And now you can see, boom, it's going from left to right instead of top to bottom. So you can have a lot of fun creating different gradient effects with type. You can even individually make these text boxes separate. You don't have to do it as one whole text box. Just depends on the type of design you are making. So I hope you have a ton of fun with this effect in Kittle.